Yeah. Yeah. So hairline, um, AEW has oh, no. introduced um a new list of banned moves and actions as part of their safety protocols. So I, I'm going to read you this list and uh, see what you make of it. I don't know. This could be a good thing or a bad thing, but we called this. We said AEW is inevitably going to have to go more. De- ah, Jim Cornette called it way before us, as you pointed out off pod, but um, we did call it out too. We said like, dude, as they get bigger, like they're going to go more sports entertainment, WWE, because why you have, they have to like, who's the trailblazer. Who's the standard bearer of global, huge pro wrestling it's wwe so they're gonna model and go off that because that is what like clearly people at warner want this to work and other there's lots of people with lots of money who do want this to work clearly aew because they're willing to flush all this money but they're also giving it chances to to do things like (laughs) <laughs> new tv shows and and this game that hairline feels this crap ass. Trap, I, haven't tried, I haven't tried it yet i haven't even played it yet i was like oh, listen fuck. here's all i'm saying yeah. is that maybe at a thousand tiktok subscribers i will go live on the pwt podcast tiktok and play it but till then i am not subjecting my shit yeah. to that shit show yeah we're gonna do we're gonna get you guys some gaming content and maybe some twitch stuff and shit like that um i have yeah, some ideas working. in play we're working on it but either way um but that's a great idea though i think people would love that seeing you play it on uh on tiktok live there either way though <laughs> <Like> anyone <laughs> it'd just be me as jericho <laughs> <laughs> your story mode is jericho <laughs> Um, so <laughs> I'm going to read you the new list of band moves and actions oh, wow. and tell me what you think about this. Um, so chair shots to the head, chair shots to the back of the head, buckle bombs, moves where a wrestler Good. falls backwards into a turnbuckle, imitating concussion or seizure symptoms while selling a move. Fuck. That's fucked. You know what I mean? Um, uh, spitting. That's just selling. Well, uh, imitating concussion, bro. Come on now. Like we hold on like seizure. Okay. Maybe, but a concussion, like bro, it's a contact. Like people see people get concussed in football. Work? You have to let I them think work. Really concussion. So they I can't do really that. Do, do you exactly? What if they're really concussed? And then also Wardlow, like he would do the KO shit. Like he would just KO him. Like, you know, is there no more of that anymore? I don't know. Um, I think even Jim Cornette was putting over like how you can just KO a guy in AEW and now you're gonna take that away. Okay. Nah nah. Nah nah. Um, so spitting, uh bleeding while in the crowd. Sorry, Mox. Uh, oh, Mox. <laughs> using weapons or projectiles in the crowd. So sorry, Mox and Jericho. Mox. Um <laughs> yes. hey. What about fireballs? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Throwing anything with blood on it into the crowd. Taking, Again, Max. Yeah, taking food and drinks from fans in the crowd. Uh, making contact with fans in the crowd. Now, what I noticed on Twitter was all of the uh, AEW fans were going, oh, those last two are clearly about MJF. But no one was going, all of those were about Moxley. <laughs> <laughs> I think fucking eight of the ten <laughs> things were about Moxley. Yeah, so many of them are mad. So, uh, <laughs> all right, let's. You, oh god, I'm not. I'm not trying to sidetrack you into it, but fucking him talking to Renee. Renee, it's not even like I'm too cool. Yeah. Really yeah, cool. I'm not cool. I'm not trying to be cool, but I'm really, <laughs> but I'm, cool. I'm really cool. I'm not trying to be cool, <laughs> but Scooby, <laughs> Scooby Doo, wah wah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but, oh. oh my god moxley the smooth, dress- cool jazz artist <laughs> <laughs> smoking cigarettes yeah um uh, renee's a fucking waitress at the coffee shop he hangs out at so i don't know what are we writing what is, what is this <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> And then here is AEW's new list of moves and actions that require pre-approval. Okay, so you know the Bucks are going to still be allowed to get all their shit in, but, like, what the fuck is, like, Pentagon yeah, going to do? What is, like, Penta and Ray Phoenix going to do now or whatever? Like, what is... They're going to go back to fucking 
they're know. fine, dude. They're in that fucking triple A shit. And does this apply to Ring of Honor, or do they not give a fuck because Ring of Honor's yeah, because five people watch Ring yeah. of Honor. So, so oh, here's the it. new list of moves and actions that require pre-approval: spots and bumps on the ring apron and outside on Box. those mats, bro. This shit's softer than the fucking ring. Um, table, ladder, chair spots in and out of the ring only allowed with padding. Uh, poor, poor Wardlow. Dog, they've always had the fucking sixty-two boxes that Jericho fell on. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Now they have to get pre-approved table, ladder, chairs. So, like, think about what that means. That people were just like, people were just like, oh, I'll do a table spot, and then three matches later, we'll do a table spot, and no one's saying no. Yeah, this is a good thing, guys. This is (laughs) this is what this is is what Collision's already been doing, by the way, too. Collision's already been. You don't see all some. You've seen one chair come into play, and Samoa Joe hospitalized a fucking guy with it, and that's it. You haven't. You know what I mean? So. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you're, this is a more WWE thing, but in a good way. And that's the discussion sort of we wanted to have. Like, you have to WWE already been do this, you know? So it's like, uh, like, it's smart. It's it's a good thing that this is happening. God, Why? I can only imagine Twitter. It'll probably get more fans. But do you remember when the selling point and all the AEW fans are like, oh, they could do shit in AEW. You can't do in WWE. They could do better sequences or however they want to put it. But now guess God, what? Stop. But now guess what though? Now it's not that way. And I bet you they'll still push it a little bit, but you're going to see that fucking, and you're starting to see it with the jungle boy shit and the MJ, MJF Adam Cole shit. It's so WWE, you know, like, and it's, and that's the direction they're going, man. And, and these AEW fans who literally hate you, if you're not a fan, they're, the way they're a fan that's what i encountered today on twitter you get hated on for not being a fan the same way as this guy's a fan i have to agree with every single thing you say or else i'm not allowed to watch well, aw fucking crazy how many how many action figures do you have <laughs> zero so that's what it's all based off that yeah oh yeah <laughs> zero why, and this motherfucker who yeah, is saying this to me literally takes pictures of his action figures setting them up and of his favorite wrestlers but anyways um, and not hating on people who do that, but if you do that and you're an asshole, well, go fuck yourself. Anyway, so um, any elevated on spot. Be- go ahead. <laughs> on my behalf, I think you're a fucking dork. So <laughs> any elevated spots outside of the barricades, dives and ladder spots on stage around the arena and other places outside Jeez. of the ring. All pile driver tombstone variations, including sit down drivers, inverted poison, hurricane ranas, and vertebrakers. So no more poison ranas. No more um, Brody King's finisher unless they approve it. <laughs> Hairline's Burger face King? when I say no more pro- poison ranas. Yeah, you can't do it. I just saw Nick Wayne Whoa, do a poison rana to to swerve Strickland off the top fucking rope. Now, this shit That's came into play today. Ever. That was the last one ever in Nick Wayne's first match. Yep. Yeah, um, so well, that was pretty cool. Um, can't, is Tope Soa Siga? On there or well, listen to this next one. Listen, bucket. listen to this next one. High risk dives or top rope moves. Four fifty, six thirty, double moon salt, shooting star press, etc. Intentionally bleeding of any sort, not just blading. Sorry, Mox. Throwing people into, through, over ring steps, commentator, terry table, bell table, or guardrails, barricades. Weapon usage, chairs, pipes, kendo sticks, hammers, ring bells, bats, chains, etc. Title belts, thumbtacks, skewers. Skewers. Fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck have you death deathmatch motherfuckers done? Barbed wire and other Aye. sharp puncturing objects. Powders, aerosol sprays, or liquids. Throwing any weapons or objects, chairs, choking, strangling with hands or a weapon or hanging spots, injury spots or angles, whether or not medical is involved, called to the ring, Um, any physicality in the crowd or crowd brawling, any physicality involving referees, managers, extra celebrities or special guests. Now, obviously, some of these were already implemented in the past, but what this means by doing this public statement like that to me tells me that. These people, a lot of them, these wrestlers there are just doing shit and it's just, okay, it'll be great. And now they're going to actually be firm (laughs) and things have to be cleared. Like, it doesn't mean you're not going to get your your fucking awkwardly booked 
shit or your done to death shit. And obviously I was like, what's Ray Phoenix going to do? Obviously they'll let Moxley blade. And obviously they'll let Ray Phoenix. He's an incredible talent. They'll let him do his flips. But it's just like, what uh, what is commander? Why is commander assigned to your company? If you're banning all these flips, right? Like this is shit. Yeah. So I think this is better for AEW all around and they're going to try and get it in the more of a kid direction. And I got to tell you at the AEW live shows, man, you see a lot of fucking kids. You do see a lot of kids as much as people might not say that there's a lot of them and they're really into it, man. And they're into Aubrey Edwards and shit. Did you, uh, did you, uh, notice how fireballs were not on that list? (laughs) Cause I'm a wizard baby. Oh God. I think we found the origins. How was a fireball when I sent you that fucking that quarantine video? I, 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 dude, I think that's what happened. Is like he just like did the fireball in that quarantine video, and he was like, "I want to incorporate this into wrestling." Tony, Tony, watch my new video. It'll be great. (laughs) Tony, I have an idea for you. I have an idea for you, Tony. I'm gonna bring in a fireball. It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. I have just seven soda waters. Oh. oh, if it gets too big, I'll just put it on with soda water. It'll be great. Oh, Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, are you okay? <laughs> Dude, he was just so convinced that Sam was not okay. <laughs> he asked him like four fucking Well, because he wasn't. Because sure Sammy okay? wasn't. He was, <laughs> like, why? like, Sammy wanted to say, bro. Sammy wanted to go, bro. I don't want to do this triple threat shit. Like, the crowd has heat with me. Why don't I go be a fucking heel and do something with me? What the fuck? Oh, no, it'll be great. I have you over here in a trios and an attack with Garcia over here. And be <laughs> Jericho. The... <And> Jericho. <laughs> Jericho told me it'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> Fire yeah. Shout it, shout it, shout it out. Loud. <laughs> you just <laughs> You got to have a fireball. How long until we get fucking uh, uh, demon Jericho? Where he comes out with fucking... Yeah, isn't that kind of what fucking the pain master yeah, does? Yeah. The, pain, the, pain maker, the pain maker does? Oh, man. Uh, okay. 